So I wanted to talk about some of the technology um, that I want to use to sort of teach uh, computer science and programming. Um, I think there's a lot of there are a lot of things that make sense, um, but I think the thing that probably makes the most sense is a technology that'll work for virtually every student and uh, make for a really compelling experience uh, that, that they, they can share with their friends and their parents and for with anyone. Um, so I think the thing that honestly makes the most sense, um, and I'm not just saying this because you know, I love it so much, but I, I think JavaScript makes a ton of sense here. And so this is something that I think will will work really well because it's going to be you know it, it's an it's an every browser uh, as it stands and presumably anyone that is you know interacting already interacting with uh, Khan Academy is going to have uh, you know a browser you know since they're, since they're uh, using this uh, material so it's safe to assume at least that they'll have an implementation there and that they'll be able to interact with it I, I think we can probably even make this assumption on uh, tablet devices and the like as well. Um, so this is a good start. And I'm going to kind of gloss over like the cross-browser issues that are sort of inherent with this as well. Um, but I'll, I'll talk more about that in a second. So but so JavaScript, I think, can serve as a good fundamental programming language. It'll, you know, it has functions, it has loops, um, and we can even start to go into some advanced concepts. Now I'm talking about closures, uh, inheritance, in this case, prototypal inheritance, um, you know, things of that nature. So I, I think at the very least, uh, it can definitely serve as a good uh, introductory language. Uh, building off of that, though, we're going to want to do some, you know, some level of, of rendering. And so, I mean, it makes a lot of sense to be using, you know, HTML. Um, and specifically, I want to argue that HTML5 is really what we want to be using here. So HTML5... Um, you know, obviously with just regular HTML, we have, you know, all the sort of typical uh, form inputs and, and, and things like that. You know, we can talk about, you know, the box model and, and all sorts of uh, positioning and stuff like that. And I guess, you know, uh, to go along with that, you know, naturally we're going to have to talk about uh, um, CSS as well. So, I mean, really all of these are very, you know, highly interconnected here. You know, uh, to learn... Uh, one, you're going to need to know the others. And so, but the one thing I, I really want to emphasize here with HTML5 in particular is that if we do HTML5, we can also use technology like uh, the canvas element and SVG. And, well, I, I guess SVG is inherent to HTML5. I guess what, I, what, I, what I'm really saying when I say HTML5 is uh, a modern browser. And so I, I guess one thing coming off here is that, so we're going to have you know, uh, we're going to have, you know, Canvas, uh, for example. So I think the Canvas element can really make for some compelling uh, games, uh, for example. We, we, we can do some really fun stuff there. Um, so to take a step back here, we really kind of need to understand exactly what all of these technologies, uh, 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 you know, we get, if we're going to have people interacting with them and using them, we need to make sure that they're in an environment where it's going to be consistent and workable. I kind of go, I guess it kind of goes without saying that all of this is going to be, uh, you know, to some degree, we're going to be using libraries. Um, and so we'll be using things like, you know, probably, you know, jQuery, you know, processing JS, um, Probably stuff like Raphael.js, you know, Box, uh, Box Two D JS, you know, all sorts of libraries to get, kind of simplify experience. Uh, naturally, at the same time, just because we're using libraries doesn't mean we're not going to teach the fundamentals. Uh, we want to make sure that people have a good core understanding of not only computer science but the fundamentals of the language itself. Um, I guess in here, we, we I mean, kind of goes without saying is that we're going to have uh, you know the DOM. Um, so, okay, so, but the browsers themselves here, uh, um, honestly, if we're supporting these technologies here, we're going to have to do this in a modern browser. And thankfully, I think we can make some assumptions 
because, for example, Chrome uh, is, is you know on a lot of platforms, and it's constantly updated. It's constantly current. They, the the auto upgrade mechanism ensures that we're constantly having the best experience. Same thing here with you know Firefox. I guess the latest release is Firefox Seven, and we see a very similar sort of thing with uh, Opera as well. So all three of these browsers are going to be fine. We we can support the latest bleeding edge version of these browsers, and I think we can get away with this. Um, so, uh, because one of the things I think is pretty important is that we want people to be building things that aren't contrived. We want them to build things that can actually be used today. That they can. Uh, that it's not in some environment that that has to be installed that isn't using uh, a technology that isn't relevant outside the context of learning it um so we really want something that can be used uh, maximally so i guess I guess this is where it, it gets rather tricky so obviously you know ie you know 9 and 10 are really good browsers so i mean they're they're already in and by the same token you know the latest safaris are probably fine as well the ones here that are really up for debate are sort of the, you know, IE 6, 7, and 8. You know, their CSS support especially is really not ideal. And obviously they don't have Canvas, but they do have VML. So at the very least we can use, you know, a, a Canvas shim to get something running there. So... I think what could serve best for now, at least when teaching the fundamentals here, you know, the JavaScript, DOM, uh, HTML, CSS, that we can really focus on the most modern browsers. You know, we'll focus on the Chrome, uh, the Firefox, uh, the, the latest, IE 9 and 10, and stuff like that. Um, but when we talk about I guess I guess the the newer technologies, for example, Canvas. I I, I mean, we'll uh, almost certainly discuss some of the, the the underlying components of Canvas. But when we actually get down to brass tacks uh, uh, and start using it, we're going to be using a library, and that will get us the support that we need for i six, seven, and eight. So I think we can using this sort of strategy, we can we can get a good cross browser support. And we'll be working in such a way that you know, the browsers will that the browsers will be supporting will be good enough that it'll be uh, that that e even if a student makes a game, they can share it with their friends and it'll, it'll reliably work. They can share it with their parents and it'll reliably work. And I think I think that's something that that's uh, really good and something we really really want to strive for.